So this part, uh, we will look at uh, multiple axis interpolated move. Okay, we look at some some gearing. Uh, what are the commands that use that? Okay, we look at circular interpolation. We look at merging those moves. Okay, what happens when you merge those moves? So axis definition in uh, Trio Basic. So you have you you have seen that right now so that you call it as base and a number behind this basically tells you what is the axis number okay it goes like n plus one and plus two so example if you call that base two four five so then the axis group will be base two three four and so on also you can define it as x y z but you have to put it in a bracket and then saying what is the x and y position. Sorry, x is x. So you can have three axes together, right? In a in a interpolated way. So you can put it like phase one, two, five, moves together. Okay. So each process can specify a different axis group, right? So uh, look at the framework. So this is for axis zero to one, all right. Then up to this, this is what we did just now, all right. So the single axis continuous move. So starts movement with the program speeds and acceleration. Multiple axes can be run simultaneously. So we want to look at uh, how we want to just use the command line. And move the axis. All right. So if you type in your command line base zero and F O, it should move forward. Can you try this? But before you do that, what you have to make sure is you have your server on and your watchdog on. All right then. So we look at interpolated moves. Okay. So interpolated moves axis select through base x and y z okay oh, so and so so the part speed and acceleration is set by the first axis in the base array right so if you put the move uh, 3 and 2 so that's the distance and what is the base uh, that you put in right so individual axis speeds and acceleration are calculated this to Pythagoras so you know what is uh, vector speed and by speed over distance you get the acceleration so there are two commands here one is move all right so move is by the distance so set the final position relative to the current position so if you say move 1000 if it's in 200 then final position will be 1200 or you can put move apps so that is by position so it can know from your workspace what is the uh, position is right then another command will be move circ so move circ is a circular interpolated move so it in, uh, the interpolated axis selected through the base x and y part speed and aspiration is set by the first axis same as the uh, move command uh, but for the move circ you have to define your end one and n two and your center and the direction, right? So all parameters are relative position. Uh, the part is calculated around the center position. So your direction uh, is if you are clockwise is one and counterclockwise is zero. So it's relative to your start position. So yeah, that's actually telling you. If the endpoint is not on the circular arc, the arc will end at the angle specified between the center and the endpoint. So whichever you have to know what is the endpoint of the circular. All right, this is for uh, contoured move. Uh, it's the merge command. So merge enables move to be joined without having to ramp speed down to zero. So if you have a move where without uh, the merge on, 
but you want to do a continuous move, right? What will happen is it will go ramp up and then it will ramp down. Then it will continue. So you will have a disjointed move. So if you have the merge on, you have a continuous move. All right. So yeah, the program is responsible for sensible merge. So do not merge move that is in reverse direction. So you can see uh, over here there's some disjointment when merge is not set and how when the merge is on. Alright, merge move. So you set the merge on, so run a sequence of moves. So you can see that uh, when you move this, we will do this move and then we'll see how it looks like from the oscilloscope.